Is he worth getting? Hey guys, Wallen Customs here, and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends. This is the build of figures for the Super Scroll, and here is the thing. Looks pretty cool. Gonna do a comparison with the first version, so let's open them up. Alright guys, so here is the thing out of the box, and he does come with one accessory or two. That is, he does come with the two heads for the Super Scroll right here, if you want to make that. And not bad. One head is basically a grinning face, the other one is a more serious face. Now other than that, that is surprising because we have no other accessories for the thing. Which kind of sucks because compared to the first version, we have a lot more accessories. Two different heads, which is awesome, and two pairs of hands right there. So I'm surprised that we had nothing with this thing. The funny part is we actually have a new head sculpt. So they actually did some work there, but they wouldn't, you know, they can't give us any more than that. So that's actually very disappointing to be honest, and uh, it kind of sucks. And what makes it even worse is that they had totally two different paint apps applied to them right here. So the original one has a more darker looking, it has a lot more detail going through the cracks right here. Compared to the new one, which is probably the base mode I guess. They probably spray painted him. Alright, I think we're done. No, no, you gotta do something. Let's do some shading. And they did a horrible job in the paint apps, honestly, in the shading. If you want to call it shading. Just like, it looks honestly like they just took a paintbrush and just like... I'm done. Now take a look at the head sculpt though. It is a new one. It kind of reminds me of the old Toy Biz one. The look that they're trying to go for on that one. Uh, I'm not really sure if that is a specific comic book look, but... It definitely reminds me of that. A little bit grumpy looking, pretty much. Uh, the eyebrows are a lot bigger. It's really similar to this one, to be honest, but it just, uh, yeah. A little bit different. Now, if you want to have some fun with this, you know, we can probably pop off the head and see how the original one looks like. And that's when you really see the difference in the paint schemes, to be honest. Um, is it that bad? Actually, I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, it is bad. Um, but yeah, what it could have been. Honestly, if the first version wasn't done so well, and you know, they painted all the cracks and stuff like that, I think the oranges itself might have matched pretty well, to be honest. So, uh, it's not that bad, actually, the more I look at it. But obviously, with all the cracks painted, you can see the difference right there. Wait, never mind. Now look at that. That's very noticeable now. But this one would be a lot easier to salvage. Like if you did a nice a wash on it on all the cracks to make it a little bit darker too. I think it would, this one would be a lot easier to match with this skin tone or rock tone than this one with that. Alright, so this one does not have an extra head, doesn't have extra hands, doesn't have good paint apps on it. The only thing going for really is the outfit, which is a repaint over here on the shorts and you have this belt. It's the only thing going for it because that's the only way you're going to be able to mix and match him with the uh, Fantastic Four right here. I'm pretty sure, honestly, if you cared that much about it, you probably just throw him away and uh, match him with them. I mean, yeah, whatever, he might have a different color blue, but, you know, he's the thing. It's like, does he really need to have a matching outfit? Not really. And at least, like, the light blue kind of matches pretty well with it, so you do have that going right there. So I'm not going to do any articulation stuff because you guys already know how it is with that one. Alright, since we already had this thing before, here's a quick size comparison with some big and small and medium sized figures. And for another size comparison, here he is with the rest of the Fantastic Four. And for fun now, here is the first thing. Honestly, he could probably match him pretty well too, even though he doesn't have the big four belt on him. Honestly, because like I said before, it's a thing. He doesn't really need to look exactly like the rest of the team. Alright, it comes down to one quick question, is he worth getting? Honestly, when I came into his review, I was like, this one's better, this one sucks. This one has better paint apps, this one sucks. This one has better accessories, this one sucks. This has a better head scope, this one sucks. That's all I knew. Now that I have it in front of me, now that I took a look at it for a while, now that I'm staring at it for a while, even though I know all the cons to this, I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to grow on me. I can see his stupid paint job right there. I can see his stupid face. He has no accessories. He only has fists for hands. 
I still like it though. I'm starting to like it actually. Uh, not to mention, <laughs> another con. This is a little bit more glossier looking. Not glossy glossy, more like satin. Or, you know, whatever. And this is fully matte. Right here, so. Whatever. A lot of cons to this figure. But he is growing on me. It is. I don't know what it is. I think it's a sad, sad face he has on him. The, and those blue eyes on him that just says, everyone hates me. Why? You know, I listed all the cons. But, like I said, I'm not going to lie. He's still going to grow on me. He still grew on me. I like him. I actually do like him. I actually like him more than this one now. I don't know how that happened. Um, you're still going to get him no matter what, though. You're going to finalize the Fantastic Four matching outfits, right? You're going to get them for the build of pieces, right? Of course. But other than that, as a figure himself, there's no doubt that this one is the better one. But you're still going to get him anyway. And he is worth it. There's something about this guy that every, you know, I read the reviews, I saw the reviews, I read what people wrote. Not worth it. All this cons. He still is pretty cool looking overall though. Even with his Mitch matching paint apps, you know, finish and stuff like that. The way I see it is he's a rock anyway. He's not going to look perfect, right? So, yeah. Crazy, right? You go into a review of one mindset and you leave it with another. I guess you truly don't know until you actually have it in your hand. But that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want, pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace!